Yo, what's going on guys? Okay, so before we get into this battle here, just wanted to make sure all of you know, in fact, I'm pretty sure you all know already about the about the news about the Hoenn remakes that are coming out later this year about Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And we barely got the news about a week ago or so. And that's pretty damn exciting. I mean, I didn't really think we were getting them that early, but the fact that we're getting them this year is just, just freaking awesome. So... The reason why I bring that up is obviously because the team that I have right here is strictly Hoenn team and I decided to make it because of that news that we got. So it's uh, con It consists of my Ninjask, Swamper, Manectric, Breloom, Claydon, and Agron. And uh, I just wanted to try it out, you know, I just put it together, wanted to try it out, see how it does, and obviously the, the only thing this guy has that kind of scares me is that damn start cry so we'll see how it goes right now um i see he had a mewtwo so obviously i assume it was mewtwo y again because it's what i encounter the most and uh he comes out with his uh galvantula here first which was no surprise since a lot of people use that as their lead with their sticky web and the full switch that people run usually on it and it's just what I said, Sticky Web. It starts off with Sticky Web there, and good thing I threw my Ninja Scout first. Because I could easily sit up here with uh, the Tom Pass and uh, Swords Dance, but I get one speed boost up and I switch out to my Blackout because I figured he would use a Electric type move, and he does with this charge. So I eat that up real quick, no damage. Get my boost up, special attack, and I mega. And I assumed that he probably didn't know I had um flamethrower. <laughs> because I mean, if he did, he would have switched out. I don't think he would have left him in. You know, a lot of people are not really sure, or they don't even know that he can learn flamethrower. But most people do carry it on him. And it's pretty basic to know that he comes with flamethrower. Teach him so right here he sends out his Dark Cry, and um, I don't have Thunderbolt on him, which I should have, because I'm running a little different set with him. So I ended up bolt switching out and into my Clay Dom. And uh, yeah, it's not really good for me at all in this whole battle with him because he doesn't really do anything because of that damn OP Dark Void. So while he's asleep, he gets damaged every turn, and I think he's gonna do. Dark Bolt, I believe, and obviously that's going to do a tremendous amount of damage. Even though he is sort of a wall, and that's the exact reason why I have him on my team because he runs, well, I have him run Light Screen and Flick. And uh, he has Rapid Spin as well, so I can, you know, remove those little hazards that he can put up. So right here I wake up, and yeah, it's not good. I flinch with that Dark Bolt. And he hits me one again, and I go down. So that was pretty useless of him that he was. <laughs> Very useless to me in this battle, unfortunately. Okay, so right here I throw out my ninja speed again. Get that speed boost up with uh, protect. And obviously, he's gonna go for the dark mode again. But spam that. So he puts me to sleep. But, anyways, I get off with a speed boost and I just go ahead and hit him with the next scissor. Because I know he can just take him out even so easily. I really even bug. So I take him out. Get the speed boost again, and he throws out his Mewtwo. So I pretty much figured it was gonna be wide, and he was gonna go for the kill, and wanted to see what move he would do. So I did protect here. I was very curious. Well, I was gonna do Sword Dance anyway. Though. So he does Flamethrower. I'm like, okay, he has a Flamethrower. So I get another speed boost up, I think this is the fourth one already. I get a Swords Dance up, get my attack up. And I'm not sure if you knew I was going to attack him with him or switch out. But either way, that Mewtwo is going down because I'm going to attack him with my X Scissor that's been bulked up by Swords Dance. And there you go made that Mewtwo disappear there. I don't know why the hell he made with that. Jasmine or whatever. Anyways, I get another speed boost up and uh, 
That's about a, probably the sixth or seventh boost that I've gotten. So I decided to attack with X Scissor again, even as Bug is strong as Grass. Take out that again and get another speed boost. So right now I'm pretty much almost max speed. And I was really, really tempted to do an X Scissor here. And I was just really curious to see how much damage it would do when it exists, but I decided not to and went for the went for the baton pass there. Switching to my Swampert. And even though he gets that speed down, he's the speed boosts that I got with ninjas are more than enough to go first. And with that little extra power, that's just gonna destroy his nine tails. So my main thing for this team that I have is um is my Swampert. I'm really looking to get a swoop with him and I almost did one time. That's gonna take out Metal Whale by the way. I almost did one time get a sweep with Swampert, but the person that I was battling rage quit on me, so you know eventually I'll get it again soon. But anyways, that was the battle guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like and a sub for me if you want, and I'll see you guys next time.